An interesting area of low pressure near the Iberian Peninsula is pulling Saharan dust and a very warm air mass northward, and this is going to lead to temperatures exceeding 25 degrees Celsius across many parts of Portugal and Spain today. Across the rest of Europe, even though things are pretty calm right now, that's all about to change as this system right here continues to move southward, bringing a drop in temperature and widespread precipitation. And then as we head into the final week of March, winter is going to remind us that it's still not quite done, as an immense and powerful storm system will impact Western Europe, bringing inclement weather to millions of people. To begin today's report, I wanted to briefly focus in on that storm system off of Portugal and Morocco. The precipitation associated with this system isn't really too widespread, and as this low pressure system continues to meander in this general area for a few more days, then we can expect spotty showers and storms to continue, especially over the ocean, as you'll see on the precipitation overview in a minute. But I think that the more notable aspect of this system is the warm air mass it's pulling up. Temperatures have already been above the historical average for most of Iberia and northwestern Africa, but the warmest air is actually arriving today, persisting through early next week. These are the actual temperatures for today through Sunday, and just look at how high these temperatures might get. For today, Friday, March 22nd, temperatures are going to be very warm, with cities like Porto, Lisbon, Seville, and Madrid all exceeding 25 degrees, and in some locations possibly getting close to 30 degrees. We're going to see more of the same by tomorrow, but I think we're going to start seeing a very slight downward trend, especially further north. By Sunday, widespread warmth will persist, but once again the slight downward trend will continue. It's definitely going to feel a little bit more like a late spring day rather than the very beginning of spring, but don't get too comfortable just yet. Taking a look at the weather tracker map, you can clearly see that low pressure system persisting to the southwest of Iberia for a few more days, but I want you to focus on what's happening further north. We have a storm system moving into Scandinavia, the United Kingdom, and Ireland today and that's going to quickly spread into mainland Europe by the weekend. This anticyclone that builds up to the west of this storm is going to basically guide it towards the southeast, so we're going to see minimal impact on southwestern Europe from this specific storm. So now by the time we get to Sunday and we have the cooler air sweeping into parts of Europe with that first storm, our next big story will follow behind. The anticyclone which protected Iberia from the first storm will quickly be wiped out, allowing for a mass of storms to move in from the north and west. Now that nothing stands in the way of these Atlantic storms, they're going to take their chance and invade Western Europe, possibly stalling out over the region, leading to multiple days of wet and windy conditions. The precipitation forecast for March 22nd through the 27th doesn't look too extreme, with the heavier totals likely in the usual areas such as the UK, Ireland, and Scandinavia, with a couple places in southern Europe also seeing some heavier totals. If we switch this to the 10-day forecast, which would be for the rest of the month, now you can really see the impact of these incoming storms. It looks like the hardest hit areas by heavy rain will be from Ireland and the UK all the way down to northwest Africa, extending across parts of southern Europe. Then, other areas like Central and Eastern Europe may be spared from the heaviest rain or snowfall, since it looks like high pressure will dominate that region. Since we are on the subject of precipitation, here's a quick look at the snowfall forecast through March 27th. While these storms will be pulling in some cooler air, it won't be enough for widespread low elevation snow unless you are in the Nordic countries, but it's definitely going to lead to widespread high elevation snowfall. You can see that across parts of the United Kingdom and Ireland down to Iberia, with many mountainous areas in southern and central Europe possibly getting moderate to heavy snow accumulations. And then for the Nordic countries, widespread snow can be expected outside of the mountains, with a more noticeable swath of snow extending from central Sweden into Finland and western Russia, and that's actually expected over the next 48 hours as the first system moves through. Before we wrap up today's report, I wanted to show you the temperatures associated with these incoming systems and how it's going to unfold as they move in. Above normal temperatures are taking over the vast majority of Europe right now, but the associated cold front with that first wave of storms has already begun marching inland, so we're going to see cooler air rapidly spread further south and east through the next couple of days. Iberia is going to remain untouched by these cooler temperatures at first, but this is why I said not to get too comfortable. Watch what happens by Monday, March 25th as the next mass of storms barrels in, 
We see these blue shades take over the region very quickly, indicating cooler than average temperatures. Make sure you stay tuned to this channel for further updates on this storm and many more to come. If you enjoyed this report, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. And for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.